Hello everybody and welcome! I'm Justin, this is Eric, and we are playing a game called... Wormwood! This is a game that was recently on Kickstarter. Um, and I really liked the art when I saw, I mean like just this, I was like this is really cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and I reached out and I was like, hey, I would love to preview this game on our channel. So we got a prototype version, this is a prototype, I always have to say, um, that... Uh, the art is subject to change, the cards are subject to change, none of this is real right now. Even though we're touching it, none of it is actually real. Uh, and Eric and I first bonded over two things back when we were in grade 7, which was fighting fantasy books and card games. So Eric's always one of the first people I reach out to and I'm like, hey, I have a card game on the channel. Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, so Eric and I are here playing. Uh, this is kind of a learn to play and like a guide to play, so it's going to be a bit slower. We're going to be checking out the rule books, but there will be another game on the channel. Uh, I am playing... The, ne uh, the Neo Genesis Church, and this is my lore. Most major cities on uh, Absintian have at least one Neo Genesis Chapel, and the Maester's call to the Crusade can result in absolute social upheaval in a matter of days. The Church believes that Wormwood is the key to paradise, finally returning humanity to its home in the Garden of Old Terra. Who are you playing? I am playing the Cult of Absinthos. The cryptic laws of the cult are designed to meet the demands of the semi-conscious fungus, which affects human minds and causes changes in both behavior and biology. I don't like you. Members slowly splice fungal growths into their bodies over their lifetimes until their nervous systems are completely taken over and they are willing slaves to their mycotic masters. Uh, there's also a cool thing on the a tagline on the side. Oh. Mine is, silence is the language of God, all else, all else is poor translation. Mine is, tremble not. For we are here to guide you forward unto eternity. Wow. Uh, so the point of the game is for us to score 10 echoes. It's kind of like Netrunner, if you play Netrunner, where we're going to be making runs on our, our hands or like our, our forge, which is where we're going to be playing our cards into. Um, Netrunner, the better Magic the Gathering. I mean, Netrunner is pretty sick. Yeah. Um, yeah. I suck at it, by the way. I also am not great at it. <laughs> Heads up. I'm all, uh, yeah, yeah. All right, so I have the Neogenesis Church. My ability is I can use a talent. So there are two resources, talents and drones, which we're going to get into as you see as the game goes. But I can use a talent to restore one health to target unit from the Citadel. My Citadel is just gain two talents during my growth phase, which I'm currently in. So we're going to add two talents here. I, I do as well, yes? No, no. No. Because we do these individually. Right, right, right. Yeah, right. Justin goes first. Okay. Yeah, we rolled for it. Yeah. So I think what I'm going to do is I am going to forge some cards. So we go to upkeep after that, sorry. Scrap reflexes and return citizens. Remove one from the colony card. Yada, yada, yada. That's not happening. Forging. So this is where things get a little bit funky. We have this thing called the forge is where we're going to put our cards that we're saving to play. And we have to do that with nothing but time and also turning talents into drones. Um... So I'm gonna put this is this is what I actually think is the most exciting part of the game for me is that it's time based. Yes. I'm going to use two talents. I just I am gonna just slide this over just a little bit here. Sure. It's okay. We can be off center. You're gonna have to. Oh, your forge is on this side if you wanted to. Because then you can go up like me. Yep. Perfect. All right. So this is my forge. Um, Eric doesn't know the cost of these cards, and nope. these are going to advance each turn, but I could also flip talents into drones. But I don't have that right now, so I'm going to go into combat. I have no one to attack with. I have no one to move. So I will draw back up to eight cards. We love it. And now it's your turn. Okay, so I gain two from the Kresh. This is called the Kresh, by the way. I think it's called the Kresh. The Kresh. But it's it's... They actually have a phonetics in the thing, which I really appreciate it. I demand it right now. Pronounce crash. I reject it right now. Citizens are workers, not money. In general, when you use them on a card, they are working that card. You'll get them back when they are finished. That's reasonable, and I respect it. All right, Eric. So you've done your upkeep. You've done your growth. You're now in upkeep. Mm -hmm. but you have nothing to do. You're now in your forge phase. Would you like to forge some cards? I think I do. Just taking a look... These cards are very interesting. So they come in various formats. There's reflex, uh, unit, and facility, as far as I can remember. An augment as An well. An augment, right. Yeah. So a reflex is like a spell in Magic or an event in Arkham Horror the Card Game, because I imagine a lot of our viewers are Arkham fans. Mm -hmm. uh, units are like allies. Um, augments are like things that attach. And um, 
or like a, an, an aura in magic. And uh, facilities are like uh, enchantments that have passive effects or that you can pay for. So I'm going to forge. And I'm going to forge. Nice. So your bottom is going to be, your your top is going to be your last forged. Yes. And my bottom is going to be my last forged. Yes. It matters because you cannot adjust your forge. Yeah, so my, so hold up. Yeah. Yeah. This will be my last forged. Sure, cool. Yeah. Nice. I'm putting, I'm putting whatever is most likely to forge closer to you. Sounds great. Sounds great. Yeah. Cool. Do you have anything else or are you just going to go to your draw step? I'm going to go to my draw step. One, nice. two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Oh! Let me just remind myself. Oh. I have the best cards. You've lost already. You've lost the moral high ground. <laughs> Is it another bug? It's a bug. <laughs> so yeah, um, you if you draw, you always draw up to your hand limit of eight, and you never if you have more, you don't draw. If your deck is empty, you do not draw anymore. You just have to concede when you are out of units. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it happens. So I'm going to add two of these to my Citadel. Yes, beautiful. And then uh, we're going to go into our... Um... Oh, sorry. I uh, know we go into upkeep. Mm -hmm. So these each move up one space. Yes. I can check these at any time, right? Yes. You can I'm not locked out. out. Good, good. Good, good, good. Okay. I am going to forge a card. Nice. And I am also going to advance one of my cards. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So to advance a card, you turn it into the drone side. You have to turn a talent into a drone. Mm -hmm. And then you can move one of these up. Which one do I want? We love it. I think we want this one. And then I'm going to play this card from the forge. So this turns into a drone, mm -hmm. moves over here. And then I play this card. And I'm going to have it defend my hand. So this is just a 1-1 one, one Acid Baptist. <laughs> uh, during the growth phase, I may flip a gray in my colony. Uh, it has oh, up to shit. 5 HP, but you have to pay HP. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to play, I think, two of them. That's, that's sick. And then I, I'm going to make an attack. Yeah, I think so. I think I'm going to make it on your hand. Okay. So one attack gets through because Eric has no defenders. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to have to scrap this because it's not an echo. So you can just put that, yeah, just put it off camera. Okay, uh, go for it. Oh, I'll draw back up to eight, which I need only one card. Okay, so I'm going to gain two of these. Yep. I'm going to... Both each advance. Yeah. Each of them? Each of them, yeah. Okay. I am going to play the Mycandria. <laughs> <laughs> Dora, I, you could say, like... You could honestly could say Acid Baptists, and I forget what that card would be. Okay, I want to check this one. And I want to check this one. I think what we want to do is this guy's already ready. So we're going to flip. We're going to flip this to this. Uh, so you, you play that. So you have to, you put it on the card. Mm. Yeah. So it costs any amount of yellow. Yeah. So then you flip it to its, um, and then you add two. Nice, that seems pretty sick. That seems pretty good, right? Yeah. And then I think what we'll do is we're going to play this guy. Yeah. Nice. So we reveal him. Nice. Which puts this here. Yep. So what's this? Endo? Endo Spexy. Okay. What is, what is Endo? Which lane are you putting it in? I'm going to put it in my forge lane. Nice. Okay. Or colony lane? Oh, uh, no, forge lane. Yeah, forge I'll lane. just go hand and forge because it's easy to know. Yeah. So I may scrap health from this unit to look at an opponent's uh, hand or target card in their forge. Oh, neat. So you can get some intel. Yeah. How many put it on? Five. Nice. 
No. That's insane, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting three on. Four. I mean, you seem to get a lot of... I mean, like, you do get a lot of gray production because of the cult. As Once great. that wears off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which it will next turn. And it then will. you have another talent you can put on there. Exactly. That's neat. So I think I'm going to put four on. Okay. And then on my turn... So this is protecting your hand. Hand, yeah. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend a point. Yep. To reveal that card. It's an echo. It's an echo. I'm now going to attack. You're going to run on that one? I'm going to run on that one. Sure. Would you like to look at this one or do you want to take your shoot your shot and look at this one? Because you're going to look at one card because your attack is one. I want to look at that card. Do you actually? <laughs> do, yeah. It's a unit. Oh, yeah, get rid of that. No, you can't. Oh. Yeah. You only can just scrap from hand. Oh shit, well no. that's gonna flip and I fucked up. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. You could. I mean, that's a pretty good thing now. It's gonna make it hard for me to forge those. Yeah. I just uh, miked you whenever I say, hey Mike, may I plant this 100%. idea in your head? Any, any time. Uh, you can move units. Uh, I think I'm good. All right, uh, and then we go to drop to eight. My units are so cool. <laughs> All right, I will go to this. And then these advance. And I would love to score this. Yeah, very wise. So we're going to keep track of that with dice. So you can at home see the stack. And this comes back as a talent. I really should have taken that from you. That's okay, you know? I, I respect the hustle. I respect yeah. the hustle. When you, when you win by more than two echoes, I won't feel bad. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, I think I'm also going to play this card. Yep. This is the Trench Judges. Which have which have a different hit point system. Oh, they do. They're glowing. They do. So they are going. They are. They do require talents. Yeah. Um, okay. So then this comes back as a drone. Yeah. I didn't realize that. I don't need to put health on it until my forge phase is done. So I'm going to do some other stuff until then. That's why I was a little scared of them, to be completely honest. <laughs> Honestly, I'm scared of them now. Yeah. I did want to play two cards this turn, but I think I can only play one. So I think I'm going to play this card into my forge. Nice. And I think I'm going to put one on this guy. Ooh. But what I am going to do is I'm going to do my Necrogenesis Church, restore one health to target unit from the crash. So oh, that. now that's fun. Yeah, let me just look up if there's a thing for restore, but I imagine there's not a memory thing where you need to like keep track of how much health No, you have. I can't imagine that would be the idea. Up to its original maximum. Up to its original maximum. That's sick. Yeah, that's a pretty cool. I like the tech that these two leaders are bringing to the table for each of us right now. Yeah, 100%. Um, I think you gotta. I actually, sorry, I think I actually want to put them here. Oh, if that's cool. Well, they go to the back of the lane. Yeah. I think we'll do that instead. I just want you to know that yours looks like a lineup for a great metal concert. It really, I mean, yours also, like, for, like, kind of a more, like, folk fest concert. But yeah, still yeah, pretty yeah, sick. yeah. All right, I think I'm going to run, I think I'm going to run on your forge, because I think I can kill that unit. Okay. Because that unit scares me. Because they only have zero defense and three health, and I attack for a lot. Yeah. So, let's do it. Let's do it. I will attack this lane. In response, Yes. I'm going to scrap a health from this unit to yep. look at your card. I mean, the, that one. Oh, that one? Sure, sure, sure. Nice. It's the, it's the sphere. So, yeah, it's flip all gray who worked it. That's sick. All right. So, I will deal one damage mm -hmm. to you. You will deal one damage to me, but I have one armor. Yeah. Then, this one gets slave link. Yeah. This unit gains plus one attack for every other unit you control in the lane. Nice. So this one has three attack, which will be enough to kill that one. Nice. And then I have one, two, three, four. So I had to look at four cards in your forge, but you only have two of them. Yes. You're going to meet them both very soon. Spore slavers. Whoa, that's really cool. So neither of these are... I definitely should have run on your hand is what I'm hearing then. That's really cool. Okay. This one is on one, right? Yeah. Nice. All right. Uh, in that case, then, I will go to move. And I think... I'm happy with where people are. Mm -hmm. Two, mm -hmm. three, four, five, six, seven. So I'll go to you. Okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Yeah, that's correct. So these come on. This goes away. It goes back to your pool. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. And each one of those move up. Which means I can probably play them both. Nope, can't play this one yet. This one I can play. Remember, you can also activate this. Yes, and which I'm planning means to. that you could then like you could also upgrade that guy. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I'm thinking I'm only gonna. So this guy comes back as a drone. Yeah. I'm only gonna put this one on here, which nice. will flip it. Yep. You get two more gr uh, drones to your crash yeah. from the crash, which I will put all three on there. Nice. Um. And then I want to lock some things in. So I've, I'd wager this being gold, this is a balance thing. Because yeah. golds are harder for more health. I I'm imagine. Just, I imagine, yeah. And then what's the cost on these things? Oh, sorry, <laughs> you can't see it. On, refle uh, on reflexes? Reflexes. It's the bottom left. They have to come from your citadel. Okay. So they are not forged. They are just played. Gonna forge this. Nice. And then uh, I am gonna declare an attack. Sure. And as I do it, I'm going to play plague spores. Nice. All units have zero armor. Nice. So on my attack run, mm -hmm. I'm gonna do two and then spend one. I'll have a scrap of health mm -hmm. to have it deal the same two damage to the next unit. Sure. Um, before this attack actually fully resolves, yes. I'm going to respond to that, I think. Please do. Because this is my big swing to get back in the game. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of how I want to manage this. So all units have zero armor. I'll put the money on that for this card that you paid. Yes. Because that money actually comes back to you. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. I forgot about that. Hmm. That's why I was like, oh, no. If you counter it, I'm fucked. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm going to play this desertion. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to remove one health from target unit and place it on its controller citadel. So I'm going to grab this and put this here. And then I'm also going to play Miraculous Escape. Target a unit that would be scrapped at the end of the battle phase, return it to the back of its lane with one health. Sick. Well played. So this guy will come back. This is the unit I'm going to target. Yeah. I guess I have to uh, have to do that when that guy scraps. So pretend you haven't seen that yet. Yeah, yeah. All right, so now this all resolves. Yeah. You're going to kill... I'm going to deal one damage to you. Yeah. You do the thing, so I'll deal one damage to you. Mm -hmm. But this one won't be able to attack you. No. Um, so this one's going to get scrapped... And this one also is also going to get scrapped during this exact same window. Yes. Uh, in which case, I will do this Miraculous Escape, and um, this will come back with one health. Yes. Um, however, your combat is done, mm -hmm. and you did succeed, and I had, um, at the end of the battle phase... Which makes me think that it does count to reducing my score. I also think it says battle phase, not combat phase. Yeah. But also, like, this could be something where um, the language, like I said, this is still a prototype. So to be clear to anybody watching, what's happened is Justin basically did a flicker effect, magic yeah. style. And we're now trying to figure out if that counts to whether or not it reduces okay. my attack so power. So this says battle phase, so I'm going to wager it doesn't. Yes. So because it says battle phase in the thing, so then you get to look at two cards here. I want that one. I want that one. You score one echo. Do. I'll put it here, face up. Right. And then that one goes back to you. No, yeah. I scrap it, right? Only if you don't score an echo. Right. Yeah. Okay. And I get my two points back from Plague Spores. Uh, no, this will stay here. You're going to get them during the upkeep phase. Right. That yeah. makes so much more sense. Four, five, six. <laughs> Just throwing these guards around. Seven... Eight. Okay. Nice. All right, you're done? I am. All right, we're going to add two talents to my citadel. Uh, scrap reflexes and return citizens to the citadel. Return one citadel citizen from each colony card. 
advance this. All right, I got a lot of resources to work yeah, with. Yeah, holy cow. Hmm. Oh, and this moved up. No, no, this wasn't. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think I want to kill that unit you have. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, that was a really tricky situation. Okay. All right, hear me out. I'm hearing it. I'm going to forge a card. Mm hmm I'm going to forge a card. Oof, uh-huh. I'm going to forge a card. Oh, my gods. I am going to... Look at how much this one costs. It's very expensive. <laughs> <laughs> it's very expensive. Uh, I think I'm going to do this. Mm-hmm. To put another one on that. <sighs> Brutal, yep. And I think then I'm going to run on this one. Hmm. Yep. So I have two attack versus your zero defense. Yep, and I got nothing I can do about it. So Spore Guy goes. Spore Guy goes. Does he do the But you deal damage? one damage. You deal two, but I have one armor. Yeah. So I will live. This goes here. Yep. He's dead. And then I have two, so I'll look at both of these cards. Yeah. I'm convinced you're never going to do... No. Nope. Oh! I'm so sad. Echo! Let's go, go! All right. And then um, I'm going to go to my move. Oh, we can slide that down. Yeah. I'm going to move this guy over here to bait you into attacking my useless cards here. <laughs> it's just, it's just got nothing <laughs> it's, but it's, echoes. It's four echoes, yeah. <laughs> I am going to draw six cards, though. I am trying to figure out the tempo of where you play things versus when you don't, because there's a lot of ebb and flow. I'm also feeling that as well, but I'm... Uh, color me intrigued. This has been a very enjoyable uh, first few rounds. Absolutely. Okay, Eric, you get two talents on your Citadel. I do. Okay, and this comes back, and these come back. Yeah, and then that gets scrapped. And that gets scrapped. Oh, wait, is this... It's not still active, was it? Because that would mean that this guy was dead. Oh, great question. Let me see that. I'm sure it can't be. It is! In oh. the beginning of your next upkeep phase. So he is dead. Okay. So I have no defenders right now. But luckily you have a colony in there. <laughs> Yes! I might be a little short on chances to uh, <laughs> take advantage. Good good call on that. Good call. Um, let's try to fix that. So this one moves up. It's going to go here. Nice. Okay. Well, I was hoping to ride that guy out a bit. I spent that thing for nothing. That's okay. A learning experience. That's a cool card. That's okay. We're gonna we're gonna take some advantage here. So we've got three of those. Mm -hmm. We don't wanna. We're gonna. Yeah. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take some small advantage. All right. I'm I'm game to see it. We're gonna put this here as well. Then we are going to play... No, we're stupid. We're going to put that back. Play that instead. That'll be our advantage. Nice. Should have played that a turn ago. Is it a... Is it, a, is it a, an echo? <laughs> <laughs> no! Uh, uh. Okay, I'm taking that back. And I'm taking that back. Whoa. Because what I got to do, if I want this to work... Yeah. Is I gotta go this card. Yep. Put it here. Speed it up. Okay. To go there. Yep. I oh, know it turns into a drone. Right, turns into a drone. Allowing me to play this card. Choose a unit in your scrap and add it to the lane as if it were just forged. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. 
And I think what we do is, because that goes here. So we put that here. Nice. And then we're only going to put, because you've got no defenders. Correct. So we're only going to put two on it. Yep. And we have completely slowed our ability to do other things. I like it, though. I like it, too. We're also going to play this. Yep. So where does this go now? It's that goes into Colony, so it's going to be, like, over here. That works. So what does it say? If a unit you control loses health, you may add it to Mycandrium. They do not leave Mycandrium during your upkeep. You may use tokens for Mycandrium rather than your Citadel when adding health to units. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Yeah. So. Seven. Okay. Doing so much to get so little value. Um, I mean, if you get one Echo, it's probably worth it, right? That's my hope, right? So. First, I'm going to scrap. Yeah. I'm going to take a look at this card. Is it an Echo? It is not an Echo. Shoot, I actually knew that card was that one. No, you haven't seen that card. Okay. You haven't seen any of these three. Okay. Which means I just have to take a chance now. So, one second. I'm just going to... Because that's lose health. Mm-hmm. Oh, scrap a health. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is scrap and lose the same thing? I don't... I'm going to say no, just because they are different yeah, words. Yeah, I don't think so either. Let me just... I'm going to look up battle while you're continuing the rest of your stuff. Go for it, because my next turn is just to go and attack. Sure. Yeah, I don't know. My my gut says because they're different words, it's different. Yeah. My gut says to attack your hand. How many cards do you have in hand? Eight. Eight. My gut says to attack your hand, but I'm going to go here, and okay. I'm going to try and attack. So this. you got through because you have one. Yeah. You're going to look at this one? Yeah. Yes. Okay, and then at the end, this goes here. Yes. Because it's scrapping. Yeah. This goes here. Nothing goes on Mycandrium because it's not losing health. As far it's as we're aware. It's scrapping yeah. health. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, this army is busted. Yeah. Like, at that point, I'm losing nothing, gaining everything. Yeah. And I do believe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is the end of my turn. All right. Let's get two talents. Let's uh, move this. Let's move all these up one. And Eric, I got some good news for you. You had, you had a pretty good shot, no matter what, because I had two echoes there. Oh, nice. But now we have a lot of talents. Okay. I will play this. Mm -hmm. Nope. It costs four. <laughs> <laughs> you, could, you could hasten it. I probably will. All right. All right. I'm going to put this one out. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm also going to put this one out. Mm -hmm. And then I think I'm actually going to rush this, this, and this. Whoa. And we're going to play this one. Yeah. I got the Absolution Sphere. We do love we do love the sphere. Flip all gray who work it. That's brutal right there. That's so good. I have this Deva Monks. Yep. So each time you score an Echo, you may flip a gray on this unit. This, this unit gets plus one attack for each yellow, for each talent on it. Whoa. I have... Sorry, did I? I did this one, yes. Yeah, no. you did. That was the one you sped up as well. And then we have these Relic Seekers. So I actually want to do it in this order if you're okay with me just flipping that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're just a 1-1, one, one, which is during your draw phase, you may put one non-echo card from your hand at the bottom of your deck before drawing. That's nice. That's some nice card fixing. Um, and we're going to give these puppies some health. I'm going to give two to the Relic Seekers. I'm going to give two to the Devo Monks. Really? Not three? No, just two. Okay. Because I can do it with this. Right, 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 right. And then I'm going to put this on that mm -hmm. and flip it. Yeah. 
And then I think I want to... Oh. <laughs> it took me a moment to realize where you put it. Oh, I thought it was just the picture. <laughs> just perfectly on there. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to take a run on your hand. Because yeah, you yeah, have yeah. nothing else anywhere else. Um, you got good chances. I have one. Well, this has to get scrapped. Oh. And then I'm going to put a card from my hand on the bottom of my deck. Mm-hmm, uh mm-hmm. -huh, uh -huh. Put this, and then I'm gonna draw um, three cards. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Boop, boop. We're gonna go one, boop, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna go. That's pretty sick. I want to understand how that works, so let's put it on. Uh, but that doesn't really leave us with much ability to do anything. Six, seven, eight. Oh, that's that's it. That's it. All right. Um, I think I am going to use a reflex yep. at the end of your draw step. I have this aesthetic virtues. I'm going to... just. You can discard a card to flip... Uh, a gray on your citadel. Oh, nice. And anyone may use this ability as long as this reflex is in play. So you also may do that if you would like. Oh, yeah. Discard a card. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna do some dumb things. You can't discard echoes, right? I I think I don't see why you can't. Let me look. There's something about them not being scrapped. May never be scrapped. I don't think you can. I don't think there's anything stopping you from discarding it. Because honestly, I'm thinking the same thing. Yeah, right. I, you can only. Uh, I think. You, oh, yeah. I guess you can do it in bat uh, in batches. Yeah. You can discard two of them. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna discard one. It's gonna turn out I broke the game right there. Yeah. We broke the game because now there are not enough echoes for anyone to win. I mean, there are twenty in our deck. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna grab two talents. Nice. I'm going to return you. Nice. I'm going to advance this. Nice. And I think I'm going to move one of these here, and I'm going to restore a health to this unit. Nice. And I'm going to score this echo. Nice. Which will allow me to turn one of those into gold. Yep. And this comes back there. Oh, that's fun. That actually controls that a little bit. I thought you'd be able to just magically boot no, gold yeah, it's, on. No, it's because it has to restore its actual health. Yeah, and its actual health is the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, I don't know if this is the way, but it seems kind of fun. Oh, I'm ready for it. We're gonna forge two cards. Okay. Where are you at, by the way? Oh, sorry, I, I didn't put my thing back on. I have four. Yeah. I did not put my thing back on. Uh, I'm gonna flip this one mm -hmm. over here. Hello. I Hello. do like how it fits there perfectly. It does. It's really, it's really great. Uh, and then I think we run an attack. Well, actually, I'm gonna speed both of these up. Sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna speed them both yeah, up. Yeah, don't don't be sorry. Yeah, we're gonna speed them both up. And now we're gonna make a run. Nice. You just discarded two echoes. I did. Which makes me feel as though I should run on your forge. But then, like, why didn't you forge them? Because you need units desperately. The mushroom, the mushroom people need units. But like, what if this was just a master bluff where you have like four echoes in your hand? I think I'm gonna run on your hand. I'm, maybe this is wrong, but I'm going to do I it. I want to tell you right now, you are correct. It was a master bluff. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to... Now i got to look at two. Yeah. Oh, nailed it. All right, so this doesn't get scrapped. Nope. 
Can I read that card though? Yeah, I have the please opportunity. Do. Each unit target only gets plus one attack. These units lose plus one when this. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So this goes here, and then this goes there. Yep. That's sick. And then I will pass to you after I do my upkeep. I'm not going to move because, I mean, I, I have nothing good in my hand. I'm going to put these two here. Oh, that's right, but you can draw echoes, right? <laughs> <laughs> Eight. Okay. So. These both move up one on their own. Holy shit, this thing has a six cost. That's insane. I am going to speed this one. Okay. To move it up to three. Move this here mm -hmm. to flip this. Yep. To put two on here. Someone's getting some health. Someone's getting some health. Then we are also going to put down... These and these. Nice. Oh god. Oh lord. Now, this one we reveal. This is my favorite. Oh, bugs. The unruly husks. Units in front of this one lose one health during each of your upkeeps. That's kind of cool. They just eat them. They just eat them. Yeah. So. We're gonna move them here. Nice. Put them in front of there. One, two, three, four, five. And then, I think, let's see. So we can kill that one and we can kill that one, and we won't lose this one. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna... Are you going to combat? I am going to combat. Bad news for the bugs, it's a holy day. Oh no. All factions skip their battle phase. When holy day is scrapped in your upkeep, I skip my battle phase, cannot be played during attacks. I'm playing at the end of your forge phase. Makes sense. It's a holy day, there's an elephant. There's a, oh my God, there is an elephant. We can't <laughs> fight that. No. That's like a big bug. It's a big bug. Okay, I guess that's my turn. All right. All right, so now I need to hold three money back each turn. Even though I don't know if that was the right way, I think I had to do it that way. I think that was smart. I was I was coming hard for you. I have to kill those bugs this turn. Yeah. You're like, no, they're my bugs. I love them, but you do. All right, this, these come back. Okay. You don't like their chip damage? I don't. <laughs> These go up. All right, I'm going to score this Echo. Dang. Or just win the oh, game. Oh, no, sorry, sorry. First, I have to do this to then score that. Yes. Otherwise, it does not work that way. Yes. Okay. We're going to forge four things this turn, I think. Holy bananas. Six. I think we're going to forge four things this turn. I'm loving the way you're getting your deck to work with the golds, by the way. That it feels is, like it's, it's really neat. ramping up your speed. All right. So what are we forging? Because all my units are going to be dead. But <laughs> I attack for one. I need to hit deal five damage to you. Yeah. I only attack for four. Yeah. Which sucks. And I don't think I can increase that. Oh, but in that case, what if I... I mean, actually, oh, that's tough. But aren't you now Aren't you now also unable to do an attack? Oh, that's right. I am unable to do an attack. I forgot about that completely. Okay. So then I think what we do... Just forge. Yeah, I think I'm just going to forge four cards. Hello? <laughs> Okay, I need to I need to get some hits in. <laughs> I'm falling behind. And I am gonna put all those there. Oof. Yep. And uh Hello Russell. Hello Russ Bus. Then I'll go to my draw one, two, three, four, five. 
Nice. Oh, okay, I see, I see what that card does. That's such a good card. Scared. Oh, uh, yeah, go for it. It's your turn. Okay, this moves over. Upkeep occurs. Uh, units in... No, no, that's only in your own roll, row. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's it, just, it needs a, your own it's just yeah. a big bug. Yeah, it's just a big bug. These all go up. I will cash this one. Nice. Uh, it comes back gold if it's, a, if it's an echo. That's right. Up to three. Up to three. Just, I'm just trying to keep it half. I just don't want to get lapped. Yeah. I mean, you have a big burst potential to get, like, do some things. Yeah. Oh, no, that actually is really good for me. Okay. Not attacking was actually better than attacking. Um, I think what we do... So this one's at three. I think we're going to... Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. I think what we do is we boost this one, mm -hmm. revealing it. Boar Worm Larva. A forge is an augment on target unit. During that unit's upkeep, add one health to it from Boar Worm Larva. Oh, that's cool. So, what just happens if it dies? If the attachment is scrap, moves to the back lane. So back of any lane. Oh, that's kind of cool. So it only moves one health, but then it like jumps to a new unit. Oh, no, no. It becomes its own unit at that point. It moves oh, it becomes... to the back lane. Oh, okay. So basically the longer these things live, the better this one gets Fortunately, down the road. Fortunately, during the units, add one health from it. Oh, I see. So it's going to be, I see. It's going to steal health. That's kind of fun. Yeah. Okay. I'll flip another one. Is that going one. on this one, I assume? Because it yeah. kind of has to. And I'm putting and I'm putting that one on it to start. Yep. And then I am gonna flip this one. Yep. Speeding it up again. And I'm gonna put one, two, three, four on the gene speakers. If you holy day again, I'm gonna be so sad. I know I have no money, luckily, so. So this is where this gets crazy, and I know you're eventually gonna stop me, but adjacent units restore one health from the creep during your growth phase. Let's go! <laughs> Make the biggest boar worm! The biggest boar worm. Um I think then what we do is I think this guy can restore more than he has, though. Because he only has one maximum. Restore goes up to their maximum. Oh yeah, yeah, no, no. This was this is for, for the, the other okay, 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 cool. Yeah, yeah. Biggest boar worm! Um, I think what we do then is, do we want to play this at this point? I don't think we do. I actually think we do want to go this, flip, add two, because we are fucking thirsty for citizens. Um, I mean, I'm impressed with just how the different R2 factions do play. I'm yeah. curious to see, because there is what... Sorry, eight other factions? So next I'm then going to play, as a reflex, Spore Storm. Mm -hmm. Every unit in this lane gets plus one attack. Cool. So these move over. Yeah. Yeah, let's pay for it. Oh, right. Then I actually don't want to do that. I just want to attack as normal. There's a different one I want to play. Sure. Yeah. So I am going to attack. Okay. This lane? This lane. Both. All right, so... This one's going to attack. We're going to go here. Yeah. So I take three minus one is two. Mm -hmm. You take one. Yes. That goes to the mycandrium. Yeah. This one dies. Mm -hmm. And then you don't attack this one, but this one attacks you. Mm -hmm. So I deal three damage to you. Yes. This one. Is going to attack me. Yeah. I take zero damage. You take three damage. Right. Oh, ignores armor when in combat. Okay, so I'll take one damage. I will die after this. And I will take three. Nice. And then what I'm going to do um, is I will play 
Xeno Regeneration. Mm -hmm. Oh, for my Citadel. No, for my Citadel, yes. And I will put two back on this one. Nice. All right, and then you get to look at four of these cards. Yeah, I think I'm going to do one, two, three, four. Sure. Uh, Necrogenesis Capital. I can pay a yellow to draw a card from your deck if it's an echo, score it. If not, discard it. Nice. We have Seraphim Choir, nice. which is a unit squad. It gets plus one attack for every health on it. It's airborne. It may move during the move phase. Terrifying. We have Inquisitors. Uh, as soon as breach value is doubled. Oh, Jesus. And it's already a two. Uh, we have Jet Lab oh. Seraphim. It's airborne. I didn't I didn't score anybody. <sighs> All in your hand, huh? Meh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Okay, and then when does this happen? During that unit's upkeep, so not now. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nice. eight. Okay, well, we're going to go upkeep. We're going to get two talents. This is technically still active, so I'm just going to keep it here just because it does keep this locked in. Yes, it does. Yeah, because yeah. it's actually next upkeep. Oh, I cap. All right, we'll move these over. We'll advance all of these. Nice. Okay, what's this one? Okay, this is a little bit nuts. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to score this one. Well, I'm not going to score this. We're going to build this facility. Mm -hmm. So I can draw a card from my deck. If it is an Echo, score it. Nice. Otherwise, discard it. <laughs> I should just draw four. You should, honestly. What would what would be the worst? What would be the worst? I mean, that is a potential path to victory I can take. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to do it yet. No. All right, we are going to flip this because I think I want this guy active. Nope, I want this one active. The Inquisitors. Yep. This unit's breach value is freaking doubled. It's insane. I don't have enough defenders. That's wild. Uh, I'm going to put two health on him, I think. Um, I'm going to burst up this one. Mm -hmm. No. That is a cool card, though. I am going to burst up this one. These Jet Leap Seraphims. Nice. And I will put, I think... Four on them. Nice. And I think we make a run on your hand. Which is this one, right? No. It is that one. It, it is, is that this one. one. Yeah. Ooh, do I want to do that? Your hand is well protected. Your forge is empty. That's unfortunate, but that is the way it has to be if I want to do anything. Look at my look at my people. They are pretty grown. They're grown in pots. I hope that I hope the developers watch this and are just like, yep, this was a great example of two new players just slamming heads into each <laughs> other repeatedly, refusing to build board states. I think I'm gonna go on your uh, your hand. I think I need to kill that that big bug. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, so. Uh, two, you know, in that case, I'm going to be smarter and put less health on these guys. Because they're it. both going to die. That's, yeah. That would have been the right thing to do. Absolutely. I support that. All right. Um, That'll also shut down the boar worm. Yes, exactly. From getting big later. All right. Let's attack. Yeah. So you're going to do two to this thing. It has three health, so it'll take two. Yep. And then that one will die. Yeah, this one will also die. So this goes here. Yeah. Oh, my God. Because you, you can put a health from that on there. I can put them, I can put health uh, when adding health to units. Nice. So I don't think it actually works for when you're no. building units. It no. only, only when you're, when you're doing healing. the health, yeah. yeah. 
All right, and then we're going to continue this, and we'll kill that guy. Yeah, you will absolutely kill this thing. Nice. This thing goes to the back of a row. Now, the thing is, I know this one deals damage, but does that one deal damage back to her? Because they see each other now? No, my guy actually died to your worm. Oh, right, yeah. yeah my guy died to your worm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and that is me. I still have eight cards in hand, because I didn't decide, decide not to forge this turn. Right, my turn. This moves over here. <laughs> the poor worms that won. <laughs> and this is discarded. And, and that moves back. Oh, that moves discarded. back, yeah. yeah. I gain these two. I gotta. I have been playing really stupidly trying to keep pace with you on these. Your army clearly is the, the money people. I think what we do... Okay, you're pretty open. I'm very open. So what I need to do is take advantage of that. I need to rush into taking advantage of that. So we go one, two. <laughs> and then I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna swing three at the hand. You only gotta do one attack. Right. Shoot. I'm gonna bet that those are not echoes. I'm gonna bet. I'm gonna swing three into your hand. All right. Very nice. Six all. Six all. But I think that is my whole turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. These advance. This comes here. <laughs> Where is the healing? Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Gotta end up emptying this poor thing onto this thing. Alright, I need to actually put this all the way. Oh god, it's happening. The six pointer. I think I have to, right? Yeah. I mean, we gotta see it. Yeah, I mean, I am gonna play it. So, it gets oh. plus one attack for each health on it oh my god so it's at what it's four attack it's four attack and it's airborne doesn't help with that freaking uh worm you got the boar you have worm. high attack on your stuff which is pretty spicy yeah it helps uh but i'm gonna do this uh oh whenever i score an echo i may place a gray here from the crash i can play a yellow at health to target unit using this facility nice Okay, I can't, I mean, I might as well attack your hand. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna do some forging still. I can forge oh, one course. more card. Did I grab this one? Yes. Did I? Did you? I don't think I did. I don't feel you did. Maybe I did and I just did a huge cheat, but. Uh, you know what, I don't remember it either and this is a fun game. All right, uh, we're gonna forge a card. No, you definitely didn't. Because you put down the Seraphim Choir, then you went back to your hand, and we were talking. Yeah. And you were making comments about the Boar Worm Larva. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to forge a second card. Sick. Got to get things out there. And then I think... No, I'm not going to forge this card. I'm going to speed up this card. Ooh. To play this theo Theocracy. So I may move an additional citizen from this facility to my citadel during each of my upkeeps. Oh, that's nice. So I'm going to put... Um, Justin's building a machine over there. Four on this. My machine is filled with people. <laughs> and I think I gotta attack here. Yeah, you gotta. So I'll deal four to you. Yeah, and you'll take one and it'll yeah. die. And then I will look at... Uh, three cards from your hand. Yes, you will. All right, give me some luck. 
Nothing. All right, these are spells. Let's target these. She can target lane gets plus one attack. These units lose one health when this reflex is scrapped. That's kind of cool. Scrap target unit, replace the unit from your hand. I think we're going to get rid of that mosaic mutation. Dang, I haven't even read that one yet. <laughs> and then I think oh, I'll pass. Yeah. I'll go to you. Yeah, how much was that too? Oh, I should have played that. Oh well. I didn't read it. That's what I get. Well, could you say no to the worm? I couldn't say no to the worm. Look at this. Here's your two of those two. Thank you. Yeah, it is a lot of health. Like that's that's pretty sick. I think I will score this one. Nice. And I will, knowing that, and then let's see how many of these do I want. So I probably want to, oh yeah, if I flip this over, I automatically get this one here, which goes great. Yeah, it comes back gray. It comes back gray, which yeah. is what we want. Yeah, because you're the other ones from your uh, Echo, nice. Yeah. And then what I do is I load this in here, mm -hmm. put three on it. From there, from your mic? I can't, it's only healing, right? That's why it's getting so big. No, when you're adding health units, this is when you do it. Oh! Yeah, because that's how you're, that's your, like, your health pool for them. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, well, I've been, I've been maybe... I, I think this is the first time this has happened, because everything else you've played has been, like, tiny amounts of health. Yeah, I've been maybe going too hard. Oh, wait, no, I just played that. Just played both of those. Um, in which case... I will also play another one. Mm -hmm. And then I am going to declare a fight. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go Boarworm Larva against these guys. All right. Any tricks up your sleeve? Because if not, I think we just trade. I think we just trade. All right. Goodbye, Boarworm. Goodbye, Boarworm. You were a, you were a thorn in my side. <laughs> oh, you get that health over here. Right. And then on my turn, I'm just going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. I'm going to get two of these. Yep. I'm going to move two of these over. Jeez. And I have nothing to advance. That guy only has one attack, but you have three things in your forge right now. Mm -hmm. So maybe it'd be beneficial for me to attack your forge. Oh, that's a neat card. Do we just try to win that way? <laughs> I think so. I want to see this alternate win. I think so. I think we just try to win that way. Do you like my little stock tenders, though? Look how many bugs I have. Yeah, they're cute. You know what? I've won the moral victory. The church admitted my bugs were cute. That's the I, only I mean, reason. I, th I think you might win the actual game, too. I've run out of steam for sure. I had I had, there, I had six echoes in my hand. That one when you got three. Yeah. So, like, I haven't been able to recover, recover. since. So, and you're, you've been, uh, that those those big bugs, the three attacks, yeah. they're tough guys. So, I think it's very likely, but I have a plan. I'm ready for it. I'm ready to watch you alternate win your way out of this. I'm waiting for the judge to be like, actually, that's not how wins happen. All right. I'm going to put these two here. Oh, shit. 
Mystery of Mysteries. And I think we're going to turn two of these. Yep. To advance them. Yeah, I'm going to advance this one. Yep. Web weave cherubs to attack, and if this unit is an attack, if this unit is an attack, all units in the enemy lane are slow. It's basically first strike. If they yeah. take lethal combat damage, it does not deal damage return. This would have been great for your big bugs. Would have been great. All right, one, two, three, four. Brutal. I mean, I think we're gonna run on your forge. Hell yeah, you are. So we're gonna deal two. I gotta look at two cards. You are. I'll look at this one. Nice. It's an echo. It's what you wanted. And we'll look at this one. Hey, that's your box art. It's an old man. It's an old man. All right, this goes back to you. We go up to seven. Well done. I've scored an echo, so I get to place a guy here from the crash. Nice. And then I can use a yellow to add any amount of health to target units from that facility. But you're already at full. I'm already at full. And then I think I will just pass the turn and draw two cards from my deck. Okay, these two will pop up. That card would have been great yesterday! <laughs> I don't know, I think, I think that does a lot of good to get you back in it. It's helpful. Pop up to three. Yep. To reveal the Elder Hybrids. I didn't read, read what he does. He has three attack, though. It's pretty huge. Yeah. Uh, units adjacent to Elder Hybrid mu uh, must add one health uh, to it. Oh, so he's roughly. basically stealing health. He's stealing health. Cool. Okay. So this becomes one of the health that goes on him, along with one, two, three. Cat seems so good. Four. And I think he's big enough to Oh, no. He can't go higher than five. Right. Yeah. Well, I can't go higher than four. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... This one's at two, so I'll just reveal it. Ooh. And I think what we do... I just hide the wrong one. That's crazy. Yeah. It's, a good, it's an exciting finish, though. It is. I think what we're going to do is we are going to swing in. Because let's see. I've got three. Yeah. You can kill my web weave. My web weave. I can. Yeah. Only oh, no, you three. can. Yeah. I let's mean, go. I mean, I can. But then I put myself in a lot of danger. You can all stack with those guys if you want. And I can just deal one damage to you. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> cool, I'm cool with that if you want to do You're that. You're cool with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're open to it? I'm open to it. I really appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is what we do. Uh, while you're moving into this phase, I'm mm -hmm. just going to play this card right now. Uh, I'm going to pay two. Flip the citizens used for this reflex. Nice. Oh, I just wait till the end of your forge phase. <clears throat> and then we're going to flip this mm -hmm. to move this up mm -hmm. to reveal this one spore blossoms unit gains consume if this yield unit deals lethal da combat damage at one health from the defeat defeated unit oh that's cool um and then i think what we do mm -hmm. is we're going to we are going to come at you at my hand yeah at your hand mm -hmm. and we're going to go Spore Storm. Okay. So each unit gets plus one attack? Yeah. Nice. So you have four, mm -hmm. and I have three. Yes. Okay. So I take three damage then? Oh, right, because you've got the hit point. Yeah. And then you take three damage. Yeah. One, two, three. However... Oh, but you didn't get defeated! Yeah, I, I fucked did, up! I did not die! I fucked up! I also forgot to use this power, but it doesn't matter. Oh, oh, that hurts. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> oh, I have no way to fix what I've done. <laughs> <laughs> I might have just lost the game. Go ahead. All right. I have my Hail Mary we're going to try here. Oh, I'm ready for it. Are you going to use the... I am, yeah. I'm yeah! Gonna... All right. Yeah! Four. This is scrapped. 
Uh, I do have an echo here. Mm-hmm. I got so distracted trying to get rid of these to keep the game. Four, five, six, seven. Well, we're gonna look at seven cards. Yep. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I have to discard anything that's not an echo and I score an echo. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I so hope you get it. <gasps> did it. Let's go! You did it! Let's go! Nice! All right. Well, honestly, I, I was very concerned. So what was funny was after this, they yeah. were both going to die anyways. They were, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Was that an echo you had there? That it was. Yeah, because I was going to run on you then if I didn't miss there. But whoo, this game's yeah. fun. This is fun. Yeah, this is a fun game. Um, oh, I had two more echoes in my hand, too. I was ready. I, I, was... I had four. Oh, you if, got you ran, so... if you ran here, you actually probably would have won. Yeah, you got yeah. so echo flooded partway through there. Yeah. I could feel it, too. I was like, Justin's playing less cards because he has less echoes. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, that's kind of the balance. I think like that that variance is kind of important. It's yeah. like magic, right? It has a lot of that influence. If you had but... kept up the tempo that you had in the opening two rounds, I would have been flat. But it was it was cool because like we actually each were like going back and forth for it, which I think was really neat. Yeah, and we ended eight to 11, yeah. so not bad. Yeah. Sweet. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this. We're going to play another one, so there'll be another one of this coming out on the channel in the near future. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one, and as always, a GG's.